Hello kids, today we will do operators in Python. Operators are special symbols in Python that carry out arithmetic and logical computations. The value of that the operator operates on is called the operand. For example, this plus operator is operating on these x, y2 values. So here x and y will be called as operands. So today we will cover only arithmetic operators. These are all arithmetic operators which are available in Python. First arithmetic operator is plus which is used to add two operands and the syntax is like this. These are the operands and this is operators. Now how plus operator will work? We will do it practically. Now suppose r is a variable having value 20. y is a vari another variable having value 50. Now r plus y which is 70 right so here plus operator works on r and y whereas r is 20 and y is 70 so out output is 70 right now second operand so this operator will subtract right operand from the left operand right so x minus y how it works in python cell let us do practically so again we have already defined values for r and y now if we will write r minus y the output will be minus 30 right because r is 20 and y is 50 the 20 minus 50 will be minus 30 right because minus sign having larger value now y minus r will be plus 30 so in this way this minus operator will work now third operator is asterisk multiply two operands right so asterisk is used for multiplication how we can use it x into y now let us do it practically so r into y so here we have r is equal to 20 y equal to 50 and if we will multiply both these values the output will be 1000 now fourth operator is backward slash which is used for division so it will divide left operand by the right operand and it will always always return a float value i am repeating again it will divide left operand by the right one and it will always return float value how we can use it x backwards slash y now let us do it practically r slash y which is this now y slash r which is 2.5 right 50 divided by 20 will be 2.5 so in this way the backward slash will work as divide division operator now next operator is modulus or percentage how and what is its aim modulus reminder of the division of left operand by right one right so this modulus always 
return reminder right so how it works x modulus y now let us do it practically suppose we have t equal to 16 and u equal to 3 now if we will divide t or oh, sorry modulus 3 or u so it will return 1 why because 3 5 j 15 reminder will be 1 so output will be 1 right because we have divide 16 by 3 3 5 j 15 and 1 is a reminder and this modulus sign always return the reminder after division so what is the function of this modulus sign the function of this modulus sign is to get reminder after division now next operator is this floor division right floor division means the division that returns or results into whole number right now let us do it practically the same thing we will do here let us take some new variables b equal to 17 and e equal to 5 right now if we will do b floor 5 or e it will return 3 why because floor division will remove decimal part of the question or return result in whole number in place of floor division we will use simply division so it will return answer in decimal with decimal place so what this floor division do it has removed the decimal places from the result right so what is the function of this floor floor division it will return result after division into a whole number or number without decimal places now last operator is double asterisk which is known as exponent exponent so what does it do left operand raised to the power of right right suppose we want to write x to the power y so we will write x double asterisk y how it will work suppose we want to calculate 2 raised to the power 3 so output will be 8 so you can see here output is 8 so in this way today we have covered all arithmetic operators plus minus multiply divide modulus flow division and x to the power y or exponent right so thank you for today have a nice day bye